Hello folks and welcome back to the shop. Today we are milling aluminum. I can tell you are not thrilled by my blank here. But it's the only thing I have in hand for now that's in a workable form. And it's a Sunday. We all know this is the best day for making chips. So the main plan here is to make something out of this stuff. Putting some pressure on the cords and seeing how it handles. But first we have to find a way to clamp it up there and remove the paint. Oh, and last time, some of you complained on that router being too loud. So I'll try making it more pleasant for people to watch. It's just a joke. Sorry for destroying your ears. Okay, now I need a piece of code to face the thing. Or I can be too lazy and do it by hand. Well, suddenly... So this made a mess, but turned out decent enough. It is flat. The surface finish isn't the best, but then again... I forgot the oil. Now let me ask you something, did you actually believe that I was too lazy to make a code for facing this? Folks, I enjoy those things. Let's try that again. Oh, 
Okay, so this took 40 minutes to cut. And let's make our conclusions. The surface finish is perfect here. Glassy feel. In comparison with the side faced by hand, where you can hear my nail catching. Hopefully. The lines you can see here every 5 millis is from the rotation of the cut, and there is nothing to feel by hand. And then there is this swirly pattern here to the left of our stock. I believe I would avoid that by making the width of the operation a bit wider. Cutter exits the whole face, then raises, go to the right side and make another cut. Clockwork spindle, climbing milling. And that's all because of my cutter. I use the cheap one here made for good, where the planar face is not cutting entirely. So I believe the first flute made the cut and the second one in was just polishing. That's my theory here. But you know, learn something every day they say. Oh, and about the 40 minutes, if I was doing that again, I'd go for a larger step over. Maybe double. 5mm step for a 16mm cutter is just an overkill. Especially for a shallow cut like that. I didn't use any tabs there, so it parted itself at some point. But this stuff here is almost aluminum foil.
So the wrench took about 20 minutes to cut and the engravings about 7 minutes each and I'm saying each because I made quite a lot of them. This one is polished and this one is slightly smaller and they are all gifts. My father my mother and a special somebody. The first two are also usable as I made them 10 mm wide and they can catch an M6 bolt. So the point I'm trying to make here is this one. When life is giving you some thin metal stock, make some cool thin metal sheet out of it. And of course that the homemade CNC router can mill aluminum, if you are patient enough. So I believe that's all for today folks. Have a nice one and thanks for watching.